Hello everyone, Charles Wallingford back again with another cigar pairing and today we have a really nice pairing. It is the La Serena. La Serena paired with the Glenfiddich. Glenfiddich 15 year. This cigar wasn't meant for a bourbon or a cognac, but it really wasn't meant for a bright young um, single malt scotch. It needed, it needed a single malt scotch with some age. All right, I'll get back to you once this experience is uh, coming to an end. Hey everyone, we're back. And now we're going into the summary and the score. If you're, not, if you're familiar with me, I usually go through the different sections, the, the three thirds of the cigar. Nowadays, I don't do that. I go straight into the score after I come back. And the score is a 91. The reason why I give this a 91 is it is absolutely a perfect pairing. This cigar and this distilled spirit, the Glenfiddich 15 in the first third was not a perfect pairing. Now we're deeper in the second third and almost into the last third. It absolutely is. Uh, before I talk about the uh, why this is a 91 score, I want to talk a little bit about the cigar, the flavors. I want to go into what flavors you're going to get out of this uh, distilled aged spirit, the Glenfiddich 15. Um, in the first third, uh, all around this cigar, you're going to get uh, leather, cocoa, you're going to get nuttiness and things like that. Now the nuttiness does not come out, or I didn't experience it in the first third. Um, it didn't come out until the second third. And I was actually worried that this pairing would not be a perfect pairing. And I originally would, was rating this at an 88 because the cigar was more so the opening act and the distill A spirit was the, um, excuse me, the cigar was the main event and the distill A spirit was the uh, opening act. The flavors you're gonna have in this Glenfinish 15 is the earthiness that you don't usually have in a Speyside Highland Scotch. And it is that little bit of raisin, little bit of uh, cocoa, earthiness that you, that you would experience more so in a cognac. I wanted to have a cigar that and a, a just a, still a spirit that had a little bit of earthiness. I didn't feel that a cognac or a bourbon would do would go well with this cigar. And in the in the beginning, I was right. That wasn't the right way to go. But as time went on, as I went into the second third, I really felt that that took place. Uh, this Glenfiddich is aged in a uh, sherry barrel and it's also aged in a bourbon barrel and that gives it a nice red fruit flavor and if you're not familiar with what i mean by red fruit it's like strawberries or or cranberry flavoring or hints or notes that's going to come out in that cigar come out in that <laughs> distilled aged spirit Once I got into the uh, second third, and now I'm almost in the third, last third, I'm getting a stronger cocoa flavor. I'm getting that nuttiness that's coming out. But once I have the, uh, the, stick, the uh, single malt scotch and take a good draw, a good pull, I'm getting a flavor blast. Flavor blast that's just outstanding. And that turned it into a perfect pairing. That perfect pairing was that fruit flavor that's really coming through. It's that red fruit and it, it blasts right through and it's almost, almost perfect. This was a very enjoyable uh, adventure. It didn't turn out well in the first third and that's why I got it 91. If, if it was a little bit, if it carried from the first third all the way to the second third and then now into the last third, it would easily get a 95, but because it didn't carry on, it's just gonna have a 91. But originally, I was gonna give it an 88. 
it worked out really nice. I am really happy with what came out from it. Also, the La Serena. This is one of the first times or one of the few uh, cigars that's actually run and completely operated by a young lady and she did a really good job. I would highly recommend trying this La Serena and also pairing it with the Glen Fittich or a single malt scotch, a single malt scotch that has been aged at least 15 years. All right, everyone, I hope you like this uh, review, this, this pairing. I definitely highly recommend going through this pairing, but give it some time, have some patience. I've had others that were great from the very beginning. This turned positively towards the end, so give it a good try. If you like this video, please hit the, hit the like button. If you, this is your first time watching, please subscribe. And if, you're, uh, if you want to add something, please comment and don't forget to share. I'm Charles Wallingford. This is how I spent my money. Oh, almost done.